Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the Boss Bar Health plugin. This is a really neat plugin which you can see up in the top of the screen which allows you to customize the boss bar during various events such as mob attacks or going into world guard regions. If you do forward slash bbh hide that is one of three commands which will hide it and then you can also do the show command as well to bring it back. Give an example of what it does if I punch this cow it's going to show how much health they have how much damage I took off in one hit and then the same thing goes for this pig you can see it's minus one and it's counting down and it looks very nice. Now you can make the boss bar do different things such as if I were to take damage from falling it's going to go white and completely solid and then if I were to spawn in a creeper so let me just go ahead and if I take damage from an enemy it's going to go red in colour and you can do various things like that in the config file to customise it. Now another really cool feature is using world guard region so if I go into this region suddenly it goes purple in colour which is really neat and you can see it shows my health increasing after eating some food and then finally if we go into this one over here it's going to go solid blue so there's a few different styles and obviously you can choose the color as well and then the text and the placeholders so that's a quick look of what it looks like in game let's head over to the config and see how we can change everything so here we are on the SM hit control panel and as you can see there's a couple YML files let's jump into the config and in here there's a few things we can change so up at the top we've got the amount of decimal places that you have for health and stuff like that and any worlds that you want the boss bar to be hidden and then down here we've got a few things such as having it enabled at all times the color of it and it gives you the other options you can choose from and then the style so if we were to go to this link here it's going to give you some other styles that we can use so we might use this one later on scroll down and then you can change the scale if you want so depending on what health you have so instead of 20 it will go up to 40 etc and then scroll all the way down and we have some information about what it actually looks like on screen such as it shows you the direction and then the player's name and then the health and then any changes which is pretty cool and then the override do you want the enemy's boss bar to override your own boss bar when active yes or no rather than going beneath it and then down at the bottom you've got similar customization with various placeholders you can use which is really cool and then down at the bottom we've got damage cause so I demonstrated this where if you fall it's going to be solid white and if it's by an enemy it'll be red segmented 20. You can have it hook into other plugins such as citizens, mythic mobs and world guard and obviously this is what I was using. So for world guard make sure this is enabled. Uh, regions we want to list them here. So what I've done here is just copy and pasted the previous one, change the color and the name so my new one is now going to be yellow when you go inside of it. So I've just jumped back in game and what I've done is reloaded the server so if I now go in this world guard area you can see it changes to segmented 6 in the color yellow. So here we are on the speaker page you can see it's updated from 1.9 to 1.19 although 1.20 is what I used and that works great. Now if we scroll down you can see you need these additional plugins if you want to use them so I was using world guard and if you do want to use that you need two plugins and they're showed down here we've got world guard and world guard events if you don't have that second one it's not going to work and then you can use placeholder API for additional placeholders and then here is the configuration explained pretty nicely and if you have any problems, contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.